of the upper torso on Dr. D's hieroglyphic monad symbol secondary in significance to the symbol's meaning as Hermes Trismegistus, and thus effectively shifted the center of Christian symbolism from the cross toward the Hermetic Caudices serpent symbol of Gnosticism. Dr. D's esoteric order's answer to the papal loyalist Catholic Knights of Malta was to militarize into an efficient hierarchy the orders of remnant non-Maltese Knights, who would then spread the message as a secret society of the Gnostic faith of an anti-papist Rosicrucianism. The result of this was free and accepted masonry which practiced speculative philosophical sciences at the end of the Dark Ages and beginning of the Renaissance, and which formed all the great round-table think-tank groups of the day who studied and practiced science and who would usher in the Age of Reason. The Age of Reason posed an immense threat to the power of the Assassin's Conspiracy and they found themselves facing what has since come to be called the crisis of democracy. They saw the power of their state authority, symbolized by the Christian cross, slipping away and being replaced by the Gnostic notions of self-government, sovereign liberty, and inalienable human rights endowed by a divine creator. These Gnostic concepts strongly influenced the original thinking of the founders of Freemasonry, who saw religion as a battlefield between the concept of the cross and the concept of the man upon it, or between the serpent and an unhatched egg. By the mid-18th century, Rosicrucian Freemasons had staged political revolutions in almost every nation in Europe, and successfully replaced the royal rulers of these countries who remained loyal to the Pope in Rome with democracies formed of popularly elected public officials representative of the masses of the populace. Thus, around this time period, the goal of replacing the cross as a symbol of the religious authority of the Roman Catholic Pope with the serpent as a symbol of the personal sovereignty of each individual man, became a battle between competing political ideologies as well. Eventually, these notions of Gnosticism became so entrenched in Rosicrucian Christianity that the concept of Roman papal authority became weakened and was in danger of being completely replaced by the ideals of the religion of Gnosticism. The serpent appears chopped into pieces in this warning sign from the era of the American Revolution, symbolizing the weakness of the British colonies in America, separated and implying their strength if united into a single political body. Later, following the successful revolution in the British colonies for American independence from British rule, the symbol of the snake appears again, resurrected, its cut-apart segments now recombined, emblazoned with a warning not to tempt the wrath of the powerful, unified, United States of America. The original flag of the United States was sewn by Martha Washington, the wife of the first U.S. President, George Washington, during the American Revolutionary War, and depicted the 13 British colonies in America as thirteen white stars in a circle on a blue field in the upper left corner of a field crossed vertically by thirteen stripes, six white symbolizing innocence, and seven red symbolizing blood. The flag of the United States now is changed very little from its original design, having instead of thirteen colonies the current fifty U.S. states symbolized as white stars in the blue field in the upper left. The stripes still signify our national spirit of pride, and the stars still signify our national spirit of duty. The various revolutionary wars across Europe, but particularly the war for American independence from Britain, were costing the assassination conspirators 
more than merely their religious authority through the Pope being diminished in favor of states' rights to self-govern and seek as goals the ideals of democracy. The attitude of the Freemason Jacobin revolutionaries was costing the elite conspiracy money. Knowing they had to formulate a plan quickly to deal with killing off the serpent symbol of Gnosticism, the contemporary triumvirate conspiracy needed someone who could fill the role that Dr. John D. had for religion, only instead for the field of politics. They needed someone who could create a new cult, one that they could control. They found their patsy in Dr. Adam Weishaupt, a Bavarian professor of canon law teaching in Ingolstadt. He had been raised a Jesuit, loyal to the Pope, but had been exposed to Gnostic idealism and become a typical pro-democracy liberal of the Age of Reason. The conspirators took his model of a secret society, called the Perfectibilists of Bavaria, and formed from it a new cult, designed to penetrate the Freemasons and expose their plans to the conspirators so that the conspirators could then control the Masons. This cult was cursorily expelled from Bavaria under the name Illuminati, and has served the will of the conspirators who control all world events from behind the scenes to pose a fake threat to their hegemony in the form of a so-called conspiracy to overthrow all governments and religions, first of Europe and later the whole world. By posing as the underdog cult themselves, the conspirators of the Assassin's Triumvirate cast popular suspicion on Masonic Jacobins and effectively reversed the trend they had begun toward liberal democratic revolutions against papal loyal monarchies. The goal of the Bavarian Illuminati was professed in a work called The Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion to be the destruction of all states' national sovereignty, followed by the implementation of global rule by a single tyrant appointed by the conspirators themselves. The Illuminati of Bavaria next provided the contemporary Rosicrucian cults in the Freemasonic secret societies with a shocking new piece of historical evidence in the form of the Golden Dawn cipher manuscripts. These cipher manuscripts, apparently copies of originals made during the era of John Dee's first construction of the Hermetic Templar Rosicrucians into a secret society, imply the Golden Dawn rituals as the original rituals practiced by the first Freemasons. The Golden Dawn rituals were implemented into practice by a group of Hermetic Rosicrucian Templar Freemasons, and they retained their ties to their founders from Germany who had provided the cipher manuscripts, i.e. the contemporary Bavarian Illuminati of the Assassin's Triumvirate Conspiracy. The Triumvirate hoped, by infiltrating Masonry as the Illuminati to the very esoteric and occult-most depths of its secret society's hidden hierarchy, they could reform the goals of Freemasons from those of the pro-democracy liberal Jacobins to those loyal to the conspiracy's goals of a global hegemony under one king. Just as they had, one aeon before, subverted the message of the words of Jesus Christ until his person meant nothing more than their ritual sacrifice to the state authority of Rome, so now they hoped to remold the message of Masonry into one loyal to their own power. The triumvirate conspirators knew they needed a new form of symbol, like the cross, to replace the symbolism of the serpent used by Gnostics. They knew they needed a modern version of Emperor Constantine to propose such a radical concept, and they knew they had a loyal group of Masonic occultists in the form of the Golden Dawn group. Beginning in the earliest years of the 20th century, the triumvirate conspiracy of assassins 
replace the symbol of the Rosicrucian faith based on Gnostic Christianity and Hermetic anti-papistry with a much more complex alphabet of symbols derived from alchemical tarot. The Golden Dawn worked with the so-called Enochian magic system of Dr. John D. and created a new form of model for it. They modernized all the occult symbolism of the esoteric traditions and mystery schools. They popularized the practice of magic in the mainstream of the public media, and they generally opened the door for control of the occult network of remaining Jacobins by the secret conspirators. The conspirators had no intention of losing control over their empire, simply due to the threat to absolute papal monarchism by the crisis of democracy. While cultivating the Golden Dawn as an occult esoteric mystery school group, the conspirators were simultaneously building up the Bavarian Illuminati into a political organization. The Bavarian Illuminati founded its first American branch in the form of the Skull and Bones Fraternity on the Yale College campus. At the same time as the Golden Dawn and Skull and Bones were being groomed into a cult religion and a political order for a new age governed entirely by the conspiracy, a young mountaineer named Aleister Crowley came to the attention of the secret chiefs when he joined the Golden Dawn. Crowley would go on to reform the Golden Dawn cult into his own format for a hierarchy, adding the Ipsissimus degree for one person to rule the whole occult network, and infused his creation entirely with his own ideas for the religious doctrine of this new age, which he called the Ordo Templi Orientis, the OTO. The outer order of the OTO, Crowley's concept for the New Age hierarchy of the complete occult network, was the Argentum Astrum, and used the first three degrees of the Golden Dawn Cipher Manuscripts rituals in place of those in the fraternal Blue Lodge degrees of contemporary Freemasonry. The inner order of the OTO was the upper Golden Dawn degrees, and those who had been initiated into the degrees of this level were allowed to know the secret that their entire group was being guided and controlled through the Bavarian Illuminati. Thus, there was an outer head above the outer order co-Masonic degrees, and an inner head above the inner order Illuminist degrees, which Crowley proclaimed himself to occupy, called the Ipsissimus degree. All of this served the will of the conspirators quite well, considering they had orchestrated this whole chain of events, and wholly controlled Crowley and his choices, without ever needing to make their true personages known, even to him. The conspirators were overseeing the restructuring of the whole network of Jacobin Freemasonry via the Golden Dawn into the OTO and had planted the first seeds of conspiracy-controlled Illuminism in the USA with Skull and Bones at the same time they began developing the Bavarian Illuminati into a New Age religious-based political movement in Germany meant to reconquer all of Europe for the conspiracy. The New Age religious movement was based on German theosophical concepts and was called the Thule Society, or the Order of the Black Sun. The political party that was eventually reconstituted from this original esoteric study group was called NASDAP, the National German Workers' Party, or the National Socialists, and history remembers them now as the Nazis. We consider it today a good goal 